when you, when you look at the gear, I'm just going to, they're actually, sorry, brake wear pins, I should say. And you can just have a look at that gear. It's really, well, it's great. <laughs> you know. Uh, What's going on guys? XP here. And if you missed it, Microsoft just had a showcase with I and I bills of the airplanes that are going to be coming in Microsoft flights in 2024. And what we're looking at right now is the A330. This thing is beautiful, I can tell you. The rendering is beautiful, the modeling is beautiful, the engines are beautiful, just all the detail that they are going on a default plane for the simulator itself. It is pretty beautiful. They demonstrated the airplane, all the texturing, all the systems, the flying, and I have to say that I am actually pleasantly surprised about how good this thing looks and how good it sounds and actually how good the systems are modeled in the airplane. As you can see, you have your first officer there. Hopefully we'll have a, choice, a chance to get rid of that uh, person in the cockpit. But there's the EFB that's gonna be in the A330. It looks like the INI I Bills A330 uh, EFB that they had similarly in the A310. Yes, the A330 will have a cabin, as you saw a little sneak peek off there, and that cabin is gonna extend all the way back to over 300 passengers, something like that. Uh, they showed us that all the systems that you need to fly the airplane from A to B are model, the battery switches, the uh, APU, the IRS, the GPU, all model, the FMC is modeled in the cockpit, and I'm loving the cockpit textures as well. I am just absolutely in love with what they're doing with 2024 for default planes. It's going to be awesome when you look at it. Uh, the screens all work the way they're supposed to look. The fonts are good. In my opinion, all the switches work uh, in the airplane as opposed to what happened in 2020 when half of them did not work at all. These tend to work and very work good. And if you look at all the pages in the lower ECAM, those work as well, showing hydraulic pressure, battery, and all the other good stuff here. Primary flight display is good. The navigation display where you can display all your routes and your routings going through is all in this default A330. And of course you'll handle your weight and balance through the EFB. Uh, you will have the integration of having your route in there. Look at that coffee stain on the center pedestal. How beautiful is that stain? That's the extra step I and I bills have gone into to make this airplane look good. It's got the guards over the rudder pedals where it intersects the airplane itself. That's a little minute details that I'm loving that they're doing with the airplane and with the cockpit and with the modeling. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to get the sounds of the engines on the takeoff that they did and the flight, but that's to come. They just did a small preview off the airplane and what it's going to look and sound like. Now, another airplane that actually I was surprised by is the A321neo. I have to say that I don't remember this plane. They were talking about a 321neo in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Maybe I missed it with all the hype that's been going on for 2024. But here it is modeling really, really well done with this Neo airplane. And uh, the texturing, again, is gonna be on point here. The tires are actually round. They look good. It's got all the vents and the exhaust. And these engines, oh my word, look so delicious the way they have done the engines and the different engine sections, the N1, the N2, and so forth. Rather beautiful for a quote-unquote default airplane for 2024. 2024, it stepped up. It also comes with a full cabin. Yes, ladies and gents, it comes with a full cabin. We were missing this in 2020, and now you don't have to worry about flying an empty shell around. You can just walk out the cockpit, go in the cabin, and enjoy these beautiful looking seats rendering in, in this cabin actually looks very good and if we take a little bit walk further you can even see out the windows and look at the ailerons and the flaps and see how detailed they have worked on this thing and if you notice there is a flight attendant in the cabin don't know how the arrangement is going to work with that don't know if we're going to have full passenger loads on the commercial airplanes i know they have them on the ga planes but we don't know about the commercial ones we'll see what happens here but if you take a look at the wing here you can go and look at the different sections of the wing and how detailed i keep using that word how detailed it looks just sitting here and looking through the window 
at it. Very, very beautiful. Good work on I, &I Bill's part to get these airplanes up to snuff and ready. It looks ready to me to be released in a week when Microsoft 2024 drops. That's going to be absolutely spectacular. I personally plan on spending some time in 2024 uh, before I even move over my add-ons from 2022. And I want to explore all these new uh, airliners that they have coming out and it's going to take some time and it looks like the planes are decent enough for us to fly around and not really miss our pay wear for now we'll see when those get updated for 2024 from 2020. the next airplane up is the beluga xl this is the big boy of the cargo planes that microsoft made and this carries, I guess, the fuselages of the A320s or the wings for the A350s. But look at how they have gotten this proportion right. Now, I'm not a fan of the belugas. They look like flying whales, and I guess that's what a beluga is. But the fact that they're going to be giving you this in the sim as well is just beautiful. I guess it depends on which tier you buy for from Microsoft Flight Sim as far as the different level of simulator that you buy. However, it includes this Beluga XL, which is the cargo variant of the airplane. The cockpit uh, also looks like a A320, A330. So uh, Airbus keeps with the same theme and you have that EFB again. That's the standard EFB looks like it's going to be going forward, which you can use to manage your cargo and get cargo loaded into the top bay or the big bay or whatever it is. And uh, they said they're going to have different kind of cargoes that you can load and each cargo is going to have its own separate weight that you're going to be flying. There's a hatch you can go through to go up into the cargo bay. And here's a cargo bay, huge, huge, huge thing that you're looking on. And you can monitor the progress of your cargo being loaded directly into the airplane. So fascinating. We've, this is something we have seen I, I Bills did with the A300 freighter. And they're continuing that with this Beluga for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, well done on Microsoft's part. Well done on I, &I Bill's part, I must say. If this is what's to come with the rest of the airplanes that we see in the sim, 2024 is gonna be a great, great, great simulator to use, to fly, and to contend with. And the question still remains, when are you gonna be deleting your Microsoft 2020 Enjoy and Enjoy 2024? But, I'm happy I'm able to show you guys this. Just a small preview of what they showcased today. Uh, think about it. Get your computers ready because on the 19th of this month, this sim is going to be dropping here definitely on us. So take care. Glad to have you guys again on another XP video. I'll see you guys later. Have a great evening and see you.